What's up guys, it's Mike. Have you guys ever gone to a store and like wondered what kind of oil should I get for my car? I wonder all the time because everyone has so many brand bias depending on what their parents told them, what the online forums tell them. So let's do something different. Let's kind of break this down with real life practical knowledge and experience and some scientific data to see what this means. I'm gonna take you guys to my workshop, ready? Here we are, ready? Let's talk about oil, different brands of oil. Before we get too crazy deep into this video, let me know what oil you guys use in your car. What brands do you prefer? My biggest fear when picking oil is, well, I don't wanna pick the wrong oil to screw up my car. You guys know I love driving and I drive pretty hard. So having an oil that is actually good for your car so I can drive really hard, but also sits well in traffic and sits well when I don't drive it too often, real life stuff, right? It's really important. So I do a ton of research whenever I buy any oils for my car. We can read data and analytics all day, but what's really practical, because we already know, companies can pay for good data and information, right? You know what, I'm a visual learner. Let's check this out. Now let's just assume brand A and brand B are your top three competitors in the industry. They claim, well, this is gonna be 40% cleaner. And these guys, they say, well, we're also 40% cleaner. And you're wondering, well, does this help my gas mileage? Of course, brand A says, MPG, boop, increase. Of course, why not? Brand B goes, well, buddy, guess what? Independent testing also says, MPG, increase. At this point, you're looking at this and saying, well, which one do I buy? Well, my papa said brand A has always been good. You've got your dad. Hi, dad. Dad says brand A has always been good. Brand B, you got your homies, your buddies on Instagram, your buddies on Snapchat, your buddies on the forums. They say, this is good, Instagram worthy. Then you've got the sales guy that tells you, hey, you gotta pick this one because that's what they've been told. So salesman says, hey buddy, buy this one, it's good for you. At this point, you're confused. Should I buy brand A or brand B? And then on the shelf, you've got this one, Pennzoil. They also say, hey, 40%. They also say, MPG increase. It also says, IG is good. Salesman says, why not? What do you believe? For you guys who've been watching me for a long time, you guys know I have literally no brand bias. I like what I like and I like what's practical for my life. So in this case, I've read a lot of good facts about different brand oils and what's actually good and what's actually good to compare to this. The thing is, I am super practical to the point of, hey, prove it, buddy, that your brand is actually pretty damn good. In this case, we've got to take you on a little field trip to show you guys what I'm talking about. Are you ready, set? Let's teleport. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Today should be a crazy exciting day. We're gonna go to Road America with the Pentel team, but right now, let's go grab some breakfast with Rob. Look who I have. Dang, look at that rig. Look at this. All right, guys, we're headed to uh, Team Penske's trailer. Ready? You guys want to hear something super crazy? These cars right here run the same oil you'd get in the store. Oh yeah, the point of the field trip is to show you guys in practical application that these cars are actually running it on the track. That's what I'm trying to show you here. Okay, back to the cars. Same oil. Can anyone guess how much horsepower? Leave in the comments below. How much horsepower and how much do you think it weighs? Take a crazy guess, how much horsepower and how much does it weigh? Mid 500, 2,000 pounds. What? Who said you need 1,000 horsepower to be fast? Zero to 60 in under three seconds. This is so crazy, look at this. 2,000 pounds, only 500 horsepower. Of course, these big old wings helps a lot. Aerodynamics is super important to this. Keep it down on the road. They even have tire tread. I'm gonna show you the steering wheel. There's a lot of buttons here that I still don't know what the heck they were. <laughs> Come on. 
those race cars, those prototypes are running the same oil that you would pull off the shelf of any of your retail. These guys are traveling 130 miles per hour on average for hours. That's not to mention the RPM ranges are all over the place, braking is super hard, temperatures were crazy that day on the same oil that you would run on your daily car. Knowing that these guys could run a race car running mid 550 horsepower, 2000 pounds on this, on the same oil, we don't wanna lose power because we're car guys. We don't wanna to sacrifice too much on gas because, well, if you're spending more money on gas, you don't have money for car parts, right? Well, those are all the facts, guys. I'm not here to push a brand on you. Definitely do your own research, but leave in the comments below what brand do you guys prefer. Just simply search it up. Let me know because there's so many options of oils out there. I know I would personally wanna pick the right oil for my car. But guys, thanks so much for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed our little field trip over to Wisconsin. By the way, it's a beautiful freaking state. It is very nice. And Road America, the track is so pretty, so immaculate. It's a really nice place to be. But anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time in another vlog. And if you guys like this style of vlog where it's like a little bit more informational, let me know in the comments also. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I forgot one more thing. Baby, come here, Leah. She wants to say hi to you guys. I know I cannot leave you the video without this little one. So one thing I gotta tell you guys is my 240, my Subaru and Camaro will be running Penzo, so I'll be able to test it out for you guys with my own experience. And if you guys have seen the 240, actually, let me just show you the video. Yeah, I drive it pretty hard. So with that type of driving, with that extreme heat where I live, we're gonna see how it actually holds up. What do you think, baby? Wanna try it? She says bye. I guess we're just gonna end the video here then. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'll test the oil out. Say bye. Bye. We're gonna test it out. Bye. We'll give them some real life experience. Bye. Bye. Can you blow them a kiss? Bye guys, peace out.